Hey guy, in this video I am going to solve a old exam paper term 183 calculus tbut that include exercises from 5.1 to 5.5, 6.1 and 6.2. Let us start. This is the first question. <clears throat> it is simple one. Here you can split uh, 3 to the power x plus 2 as. So further you can 3 square you can take it out. So then you have to write the antiderivative of 3 power x that is simple that is 3 power x over ln 3. So part A is the answer. Now the second question here this is also simple we will use this formula that if we have a function which has a power power function and its derivative is multiplying with it so we can ignore the derivative and uh, the answer or the antiderivative for this one will be by adding just 1 to the power and divided by the same number here tangent x is the power function its derivative is secant square x so that's why we will ignore secant square x so we will add 1 to the power of the tangent and divide it by the same number so further you can use the limit so by using limit upper and the lower one so it will be 1 over 2 so is the final answer question number 3 that is also simple so we can write this integral with the help of the identity of a cotangent square x that is uh, csc square cosecant square minus 1 so then its integration is easy cosecant square x antiderivative minus cotangent x and 1 has x so then you can use the limit so by using limit and simplification so this is 8 minus 2 pi okay question number 4 here you can subject the integral to make it more clear so now we can use this integral identity if we have a integral in which the inside function is an odd function and limits have a num same numerical value only difference is the minus so answer will be zero so here you can see both integrals are odd functions denominator of both integral are even but the numerators are odd x is clearly odd for the left side integral and for the right side integral x square is even but it is multiplying with the tangent inverse x that is a odd function so product is a odd function so that's why the answer will be zero of for both integral so final answer is option a next here we have to use three rectangle and midpoint to estimate the area and the graph so here we have a equal 1 b equal 7 and equal 3 three rectangles and so delta x will be 2 so now we have to sketch this one without sketch you can solve okay let us sketch this one so we need x and y axis on y axis we need this value and along x axis we only need the midpoint value so after 1 so width is decided 2 so 2 will be the first midpoint then 4 and then 6 so at 2 we have this rectangle its height is 1.5 at 4 height 1.75 and then at 6 by plugging the value in the function you will get 1.83 so the area is this one that is exactly equal to 61 over 6 so part a is the answer here we have to evaluate this limit so either we evaluate or we will re back and find the definite integral then solve the integral so we can rearrange it like this one so here then you will compare with this Riemann sum formula so if we compare the right hand side of this formula so delta x is 1 over n clearly and a is 1 and b is 2 you can see after finding a and delta x if we solve this equation for b so b is 2 so we have this integral simply so and its antiderivative is x to the power minus 3 over minus 3 so that is simple by plugging upper and lower limit you will get 7 over 4 <coughs> for this one here we will use fundamental theorem of calculus so this one that if we have a function like this one so we can write its derivative first we plug the upper limit then the lower limit uh, same thing so our function uh, which we have given so its 
derivative is this one because in the first part of the integral first term upper limit is constant so that's why we have zero and in the second integral sec the lower limit is a constant so that's why we have zero so then we plug one over three in it so we will get three e three e or this will be uh, so it should be minus three so part a is the answer then in this question particle move along a line acceleration equation is given very simple from acceleration equation by integration we can simply find velocity so then we have to find the constant so by initial velocity it will become this one so for the displacement we have to just evaluate this integral simply we have to find the antiderivative of these three terms by a simple power rule so then plug upper and lower limit so it will become 20 very easy and here we have to evaluate this integral so we will do substitution if you choose 2 minus x so, so this will become x equal to minus u so then du will be minus dx so if we plug in the integral so our integral has this form by simplification it becomes like this one and further this one so here you can see simply a polynomial expression so you will use the power rule of polynomial by adding 1 to the power and divided by the same number so and then replug the original variable so you will end up with the option a here you can rearrange the integral like this one then do the substitution method if you plug ln t equal to new variable du will be this one so our integral has this form so this is just the antiderivative of tangent inverse so then you plug uh, by applying the original variable so it has this form then apply upper and lower limit you will end up with pi by 2 for this one uh, we have to find the volume obtained by rotating the region enclosed by this one region is given and here the line of rotation is this one at uh, minus 1 so you clearly see there is a difference uh, gap between the common region and the line of rotation so that's why we answer will be by washer method so we need two radius inner radius and the outer radius so here inner radius is this one so it started below the x-axis and uh, below the x-axis uh, so it is one plus the y component of the red curve so that is this one that will be three plus x square and the outer radius is this one and it is similarly one plus the y component of the blue curve so this is 11 minus x square so then you will plug in the washer method and line of rotation is horizontal that's why integration is with respect to x so answer may be written from minus 2 to 2 with the pi and it's an even function so that's why we can write from 0 to 2 and double it so that's why option is the answer here we have to solve this one we will do substitution x equal to this one so dx will be this one so our integral has uh, limit x1 to 2 so this will become 1 to 2 this one so then we have given information we can write in terms of a given information 1 to 3 minus 2 to 3 so that become 1 to 2 so this is given 8 minus 5 so 6 is the final answer option a question number 13 we have to find the area between these two curves although there is no common region but we have to find the area from 0 to 3 so very simple so we can find along x-axis yes we can find so this will be the expression of per curve is the blue one uh, minus minus the, in the lower curve so it has this form the simple polynomial expression so uh, we can easily do it then plug the upper and lower limits so our final answer will be 9 14 here we have to find the solid with the help of a cross sections uh, base uh, expression is given it is symmetric about the line at x equal to 1 vertical line then we need cross section information cross section information perpendicular to y axis so integration will be along y direction then cross section shapes is semicircle semicircle circle area is pi r square so semicircle area is pi r square over 2 so we have 
this volume why it is two time uh, we can write it from 0 to 2 uh, and uh, semicircle area time dy due to cross sections are perpendicular to y-axis but if you see the base is symmetric about the line x equal to 1 so we have and it is our intersecting point so we have to do from 0 to 1 plus 1 to 2 so but it is symmetric diagram that's where we can double it so this is our answer the final thing we have to plug r the value of r in terms of y so look at their cross sections this is a cross sections perpendicular to y axis and if you see this length is a diameter okay we have to find the radius from this diameter so what is the diameter right minus left curve so right minus left curve this is the length for the simplification will give you this one then the radius is the half of this one so further simplification 1 minus y square we have to replace r square so r square expression is this one so finally we have answer that is option uh, e yes option e the last question last question area between the region and close by these two okay before going to the area in uh, after writing the area expression we have to sim uh, find the integral of uh, this curve y equal to minus square root 1 minus x square let us first uh, check what's the integral of this one if you observe this is just a unit circle lower part it's a unit circle uh, lower part below the x axis so a circle area unit circle area is pi so if we integrate this curve second curve y equal to minus square root 1 minus x square so its area will be pi by 2 half of the circle area okay now this is our diagram uh, we have two curve we have to find the area from minus 1 to 1 so here is the intersecting point along x direction so we have to split our integral at 0 minus 1 to 0 plus 0 to 1 you see first term is just a polynomial expression simple integration for the second this is a circle as we already check its answer is pi by 2 so finally we have this answer from the first curve we first integral minus 1 to 0 we are getting 5 over 2 plus pi by 2 plus from the second integral also 5 over 2 plus pi by 2 so after simplification you will get 5 plus 5 so e option is a answer so this is a complete solution it will help you thank you very much also sub subscribe the channel